What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I have a very large haul for you. I like to do a big just like random haul um, about every month or so going over everything that I've gotten over the past month and this past month we had Black Friday so um, yeah I've got a lot I've got a lot here, a lot to get through. Um, I actually was gonna change the format of how I do these videos, and I was gonna like film every outfit, um, and then do like a sit down and talk about each one, but I was like, that is gonna take me literally so long. So I'm just gonna do it the way I usually do it, like talk about things while I have them on. But anyway, as always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. We've got a few different brands in this video. We have some um, Express, we have some Nike, we have some Lovely and Blush, we have some Amazon, Spanx, Shein, just all over the board. So without further ado, we got a lot to get through. Let's hop into it. So the first thing I'm wearing right now, and it is a pair of jeans from Express. I absolutely love these jeans and honestly, Express jeans have been hitting lately. Like they've been doing it for me. I don't shop Express a lot. I have kind of like a long torso. Um, so a lot of times when things say they're high rise, they actually aren't really high rise on me. They're more like mid rise. And like, I like a true high rise that like hits, you know, kind of around the smallest part of my waist. Express has um, super high rise jeans. And I tried them for the first time this spring and I was like, whoa, love them. Um, so for Black Friday, I got four more pairs. <laughs> so these ones are size four long. Um, they, I think they were sold out of the regular length. So I just went for the long. Um, I am 5'7", so I'm like right at the edge of being tall. Like I usually like the cutoff is like 5'7". So I can kind of go either way with regular length versus long. But I actually love the length of the longs. Um, they kind of like for wearing them with like booties, they just like hit at a great length. So I actually prefer um, the long length of these. I feel like if I got the regular, they might've been a little too short um, for like kind of the look I'm going for. But these jeans have a little stretch to them, which I absolutely love. Um, I love the distressing in the knees and this like light wash, super, super comfortable. Um, and I'm trying to get more of the kind of like like straight leg jeans. Um, they're like super baggy jeans. They're okay, um, but a lot of the super baggy ones are like stiff denim. So although they're baggy, when you actually like sit down, they're stiff and like not super comfortable. Um, so I feel like this is like a nice in between, like they're not like skin tight, but they're also not loose and they do have the stretch. So they're very comfortable. So would recommend. And right here I have another pair of Express jeans. Also got these in a size four long. Okay, wait, I take that back. These are actually a size small, long. Um, the This pair is also the like super high rise, um, but this pair is like extreme stretch. Like they're so stretchy, so comfortable. Um, so they come in small, medium, and large, and small like stretches across like three sizes, I think. Each of them like stretch for several sizes. So I got these in a small, long. Um, but yeah, I just love the rise of them. Um, and like I said, super stretchy, so comfortable. I'm just really digging the Express jeans, who knew? I also did get the exact same pair in black as well. Um, I'm trying to like talk myself out of keeping every pair, but like, let's be honest, I'm probably actually just gonna still keep every pair. <laughs> okay, and then I have one more pair of Express jeans um, and I got these also in a size four long. These ones, again, I love the cutouts. I love the raw edge hem at the bottom. Um, same super high rise. Um, these ones do have stretch, but not quite as much as the other three pairs. Um, definitely not quite as much as the like super stretch ones. Um, and the lighter wash ones are also stretchier, which that's usually a thing with like darker, darker washes um, are usually tighter. Like lighter washes are usually stretchier. Um, so to be expected, um, but they still do have stretch which is what matters. I'm not gonna lie, on Black Friday, I also ordered a couple pairs of Abercrombie jeans. Um, I just ordered a, 
a ton of stuff on Black Friday and I was kind of like what I like I will keep and what I don't like I will return but this is my time to just like try everything I've been wanting to try um, in case there are things that are actually amazing and the Abercrombie jeans I just didn't really like the fit they have an ultra high rise um, and I have some of their uh, ultra high rise denim shorts and I love those but for whatever reason the ultra high rise jeans I've found at least the ones I've ordered have not been as high rise as the shorts like the, the ultra high rise ones are again more like mid rise on me and like I have a long torso but I know it's not like astronomically long so I'm like I don't know why I keep striking out with Abercrombie jeans I do think they make good jeans um, but for me personally they just don't come up as high as I would like them and they also are usually pretty rigid they only have like one percent stretch and I prefer like just a little bit more stretch um, and these ones all have a little bit more stretch than that so Express and these are actually more affordable than Abercrombie jeans as well so um, They've, they've been killing it. Up next, we have the Spanx faux patent leather leggings. And I got these in a size small, regular length. So I have been wanting a pair of faux patent leather leggings for a while. I have um, faux leather leggings, but not patent leather. So waited till Black Friday. Um, these were 20% off. Um, I ordered these and I ordered the commando ones um, because I had heard good things from a, a friend about the commando ones um, and the commando ones I literally could not even get over my butt I returned those <laughs> immediately and these ones I got these on no problem also these ones do not have a front seam Spanx knows to do the no front seam thing love that about them commando ones did have a front seam um, but these are high rise and actually if you have the regular faux leather Spanx um, I find that these are actually higher rise than the um, the regular faux, faux leather ones. The faux leather ones, I feel like they run a little bit small. Like I'm like in between a small and a medium in those. And um, they are a little bit more like mid rise on me. Again, long torso problems. It's not gonna be like that for everyone. Um, but these ones are a true high rise. So love that. They do have a seam down the front here. You can definitely dress these up or down. Like you could literally wear like a flannel or a jacket or something over this. Or if you wanted to do something a little sexy, you could wear like a little like bodysuit underneath it or just like a cute little crop top or something. Um, so super fun, versatile. And another thing I do want to point out is since these are the faux patent leather, they're not as stretchy as um, the regular faux leather ones. They definitely still are stretchy, don't get me wrong, just not quite as stretchy. And then a little tip for like putting these on is I put them on and I kind of like slide them with my hands on the outside. I like slide them up my leg and I feel like that works really well. I have these long nails and I'm terrified that I'm just gonna put a hole through things sometimes when I like pull with my like finger, the tips of my fingers. So I just kind of slide them up like this and super easy to put on. Um, another thing that I will point out about these, but when I put them on my Instagram story, a couple girls asked about this. Um, I was asked if they make noise and hold please. I mean, they do make noise. I think it kind of depends on your body mechanics. Um, they obviously like if your thighs are rubbing together, they might make a little noise, um, but they actually suggest that if you're concerned about noise you can use a little bit of like oil or lotion in the spots that are going to be rubbing um, like that's literally their suggestion <laughs> and i read some reviews that like some women did that and they were like oh it worked great um so if you're concerned about the noise you can do that um personally i wore these out the other night and i didn't think that they were super noisy so i was like whatever um but yeah i really really like these i think they're so fun um again i got the regular length size small they also come in petite and tall sizes we love that okay so up next we have some things from lovely and blush which by the way my lovely and blush discount code is shannon that'll get you 10 percent off um so the first thing i have here is this little like shirling jacket shacket type thing um and i'm wearing this in a size small So obviously right now, shackets are all the rage. I feel like shackets have really come onto the scene and they are challenging flannels. So they're like, we are here now 
to mark our territory. Um, anyway, the material of this is super, super soft. Um, you can button it up or you can like leave it open um, and it has pockets on the sides. It is a little bit oversized, so of course you can definitely like layer underneath it. Um, but again, you can wear this as a jacket or you can wear it just like as a shirt. Definitely versatile, love the like cream neutral earth tone color yeah this one is definitely a keeper i also got this denim jacket from lovely and blush um and i got this in a size medium so again oversized fit um, buttons down the front, similar fit to the last jacket that I showed you, um, but this one is a little bit like thinner. It is a denim material, um, but I absolutely love the leopard print details on the sleeve and the pockets. You know that is my that is my cup of tea. That is my jam. Um, so of course I had to snag this. But yeah, another very cute jacket option. Up next from Lovely and Blush, I have these cargo joggers, and I got these in a size small. So these are a little out of my comfort zone. I have not worn cargo joggers since I think like 2018. I have a pair of black ones and camo ones. I love the camo ones. I feel like that was super popular in 2018. And it makes sense, like they're very comfortable and I feel like, I don't know why, I just feel like baddie vibes when I wear cargo joggers. I don't know what it is. Um, but super high-waisted paper bag waist with snaps and a zipper, pockets right here. And then it has zipper pockets on the booty and it has elastic at the bottom. And these are definitely more of like a seven, eight length pant. They're definitely not a full length pant, um, which I feel like with wearing them with like boots is perfect. Um, but if you were to wear these with like flat shoes, um, like if you're my height at least, um, they would like, there would be some of your ankle showing. But yeah, not my typical thing that I would go for. But I thought these were really cool and I really like them. But the next thing that I got from Lovely and Blush is this faux leather puffer jacket and I got this in a size small. So this puffer is a little bit oversized and it is so comfy and cozy and it feels pretty warm as well. We've had an abnormally warm winter in Denver. Like it literally has not, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, but it has not snowed yet. And it's December 9th as I'm filming this. Um, so I haven't gotten the chance to wear this. Actually, I did wear it for a second out today um, and it was nice and warm, but I haven't gotten a chance to like really test it out, but it feels very warm. Like I am warm in my apartment right now as I'm wearing this. And it has a zipper and little buttons and it is a little bit cropped as well. But yeah, puffers also are super, super popular this season. And I think this one may have already sold out on the Lovely and Blush website, but they have a brown one available um and abercrombie has a faux leather puffer as well um i can link that one abercrombie prices at least for the faux, faux puffer are definitely more expensive than lovely and blush but hey if you're dead set on getting one that looks just like this i will link the abercrombie one the next thing that i got from lovely and blush is this gray ribbed dress and i got this in a size small So this dress is super comfortable. It's very, very stretchy. I also love the length. I feel like you can pull it down a little lower, but I kind of like it like sitting right above the knee. But I love this length because short dresses, I just really struggle with them, like feeling like my booty's gonna pop out of them. I also feel like longer dresses like this really make the booty look nice um, without fear of it popping out and showing everyone. <laughs> um, but it is ruched on the side. We love a little ruching because it just kind of makes things a little more forgiving. Um, and then it has adjustable straps as well, which we love adjustable straps too. So yeah, just a nice little basic dress. And the last thing I have to show you from Lovely and Blush is this long jacket. And I got this in a size small. So I absolutely love this. I've already worn it and I know that I love it. Um, as far as material goes, it is 
very similar like super soft material to um, the like kind of like cream colored one that I showed you first um, and honestly it fits very similarly and like structurally to that one this one is just longer um, which I feel like is perfect to wear over a dress or just like an outfit that's just a little more like risque if you want to like cover up a little more and just be a little warmer like all over but yeah a little oversized so of course you can layer underneath it it has pockets and it buttons all the way up and like I said got it in a small um, but with anything kind of like oversized I feel like I you really like have flexibility with sizing like I got that denim jacket in a medium could have done a small this jacket I'm sure I could do a medium like it you kind of have some wiggle room as far as sizing goes just kind of wanted to point that out like if your particular size is sold out like there is wiggle room like I could I could wear an extra small in this or a small or a medium you know what I mean um, but yeah this is the last thing from lovely and blush and I love it the next thing I have here is from Amazon it is this blue midi dress and I got this in a size small And so again, absolutely love midi dresses. I love them so much. Um, this one has fun little cutouts on the sides um, and it has a little slit on the side here too. Um, so very comfortable, stretchy, ribbed material. I feel like it makes the booty look good. You can dance in it. I literally am on a mission to just get a cute midi dress in every single color because I feel like summertime, it's absolutely perfect to wear with just like a pair of heels and then like fall, winter time to wear with like a jacket and booties. And I just love dresses because I really hate feeling restricted. Like I refuse to wear pants without stretch. Um, my actual preference is to be wearing a dress simply because they are so comfortable. The next thing that I got is this little like button down dress from Amazon and I got this in a size medium. So honestly, more than anything, it just looked super, super comfy. Um, this is very boho, which my style, I'm not like super boho, but sometimes I'll wear boho. Like I wouldn't really describe my style in any certain way. Like sometimes I'm sporty, sometimes I'm super girly, sometimes I can be boho, sometimes like I just, I kind of just wear what I like. Um, you don't have to put yourself in a box like that, you know? Um, but this is definitely way more on the boho side than like y'all are probably used to seeing me in. Part of me feels like I'm in The Hobbit, like going to the Shire. <laughs> but this is actually a free people dupe, I'm pretty sure. Um, which like free people literally is like the boho place. But it is very, very comfortable. Um, obviously oversized. I got a medium just because I wanted to make sure it was long enough. Um, and I put a little belt here at the waist just to kind of like cinch it in. Um, but I will take the belt off and show you what it looks like without the belt. So yeah, this is what it looks like without the belt. Like honestly, I'd wear it without the belt too. Up next, I have another like button down shirt dress. Um, this one's from Shein um, and these boots also from Shein and I got the dress in a size small. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said small. I got this in a medium to make sure it was long enough and it is, we love that. Um, I don't know what it is about like button down dresses, but I've just really been wanting to find a couple good ones. Um, I just feel like they're like a super easy little outfit to put on and you can like dress them up or down. Um, and then these like croc boots, I also thought were super cute. I've been wanting a new pair of like to the knee boots. I have a lot of over the knee boots and then little booties. Um, but I feel like as far as like to the knee boots goes, I don't really have very many. I used to have a lot of like riding boots, um, you know, the one look like you're going horseback riding ones, the ones that were super popular, like, you know, however many years ago. Um, I don't really wear those much anymore because they're not just like super in right now. But this particular style I feel like has really like come in to style over the past year or so. I'm glad I got a little pair. And now for some shoes, I got these Chelsea boots. Um, these are available on several websites, Amazon, Macy's, probably Nordstrom. They were on sale for Black Friday. I've been wanting to try Chelsea boots. For a long time, I hated on them. 
Um, I honestly felt like they look like clown shoes, <laughs> um, but they have grown on me. I've like seen them enough that I'm like finally like they're growing on me. So I wanted to try a pair um, and I really like these and I didn't want to spend like as much that as you would spend on a pair of like Doc Martens just because I was like, you know, I don't really know how much I love them and how much I'm going to wear them. Um, so I don't want to get like a super crazy expensive pair. Um, so these are um, the brand, they're called Circus by Sam Edelman and they were pretty affordable um, and these are super comfy. I haven't worn them out yet. I've just worn them around the house just trying to like figure out like outfits that I'd like wear these with um, but they are very very comfy and then I also got these shoes from Nike um, I feel like you can never have too many pairs well maybe you can but too many pairs of black tennis shoes at least for me personally like I'm wearing tennis shoes every single day either like running errands or working out. I wear the crap out of my tennis shoes and I actually ordered um, four pairs of shoes on Nike on Black Friday. Literally none of them were on sale. So love that for me, but it's fine. Um, but these were the only ones I ended up keeping um, just cause I didn't love any of the other pairs. I kind of have weird feet too. So like, I'm just very particular about how like shoes fit me, um, especially like tennis shoes. But these are super comfortable and I feel like it's cool with these little like cutouts here. I don't know, I like the design. Have some friends who have these and I know that they really like them so I figured I'd like them too, um, but you never know. But I do um, and I did size up a half size in these. I feel like Nike tennis shoes run a little bit um, small. I feel like most of my Nike tennis shoes I usually end up sizing up a half size. Um, and then like Adidas tennis shoes, I usually end up sizing down a half size, sometimes even a full size, but then Yeezys, completely different sizing. And then Nike Air Forces, I size down a half size and then Nike Jordans, I stick to my true size. Shoe sizing is so hard. Shoe sizing is like harder than bikini sizing, which I feel like is really hard. Um, but yeah, for Nike tennis shoes, just the tennis shoes, I usually feel like they run a little small. So I did size up a half size in these and they feel good. Um, I maybe could have stuck with my true size, but they feel comfy in the size that I got them in. So I kept them and I've worn them and I love them. So and that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Of course, more videos coming soon, so stay tuned for those and I will catch you next time guys.